Hello and welcome to my craft studio and my YouTube channel. My name is Katrina Eva and today we will create together this super cute mini album. Uh, this is actually super easy design to create and you can use it for any occasion. Um, as you can see we have also the packet on the back so you can uh, put it easily the gift card or maybe voucher or the photos as I do. It could be a great um, type of fold if you want to show your photos or maybe wishes as this kind of fold can um, free stand on your shelf. So um, to create this project I use the newest Hartford creation uh, um, collection called uh, Sea Breeze um, but of course you can uh, use whatever collection you prefer. I change a little bit design so just keep it in mind if you follow my tutorial. Uh, it's a little bit different than tutorial on heartfelt creation. So I prepare all the materials to create this kind of mini album or fold card, whatever you can call it. And I challenge myself to create this project with one die set. Uh, I use Eyelid Rectangle Basics uh, die. This is die by Hartford Creation and uh, you have a bunch, uh, I mean bunch of dies uh, to create a 5x7 card base and A2 a card base. I know that is the size for uh, states but also you can um, use it uh, whatever you leave as you will create the uh, mini album so it doesn't matter. Uh, what I actually love in this uh, die set and that you will have the base to um, die cut your um, card base but also the um, additional die uh, slightly smaller so you will have the um, beautifully um, coordinating layers for your cards. Uh, so um, I will show you all the elements on the go. Um, basically the uh, base of this mini album is a craft cardstock uh, which you can buy on Hartford Creation shop uh, in the pack um, I think 10 pack uh, 12 by 12 size they have white craft and black uh, of course I, I use craft as you can see and the front flap is 3 by 4 the middle part uh, actually is um, another Hartford creation product so I will show you in the minute and the back uh, which uh, in this tutorial is a cut 5 by 7 but on the end I decided to cut one of the flaps and uh, it was only 5 by 7 panel so I used packet and flip fold uh, insert C in color craft uh, just this stripe uh, to use it uh, as um, a stripe for the middle part of my project. Uh, actually, I can uh, die cut it or cut out from the craft cardstock, uh, but this is very large stripe, so I need to cut a few pieces and connect them together. Um, but if I use uh, just the element from this um, set, uh, it was all uh, cut out and beautifully uh, fold for me. So I'm um, basically first layer uh, is um, four by three as I mentioned and you uh, will need two pieces from the collection, paper collection, one on the front and one of the back. Actually as you can maybe uh, see on my tutorial uh, my card base this first smaller card base is not perfect. I use the scrap piece of cardstock as we will cover half of the base, half of the flap um, under the um, another paper piece so nobody will see. So you can also cut the slightly smaller piece if you prefer. I just have uh, the scrap piece like that so I use it. Uh, okay, so the middle part is uh, this um, fold 
and uh, of course you can uh, use it as you want I just um, put one of the pieces and um, to create the kind of packet and the over flap I just uh, glue directly to my 5x7 and cover with the paper from the collection actually you can see I have like 5x7 card on the end but when I uh, actually decorating and creating this mini fold I decide to cut out one of the flaps so on my final project you can see a 5x7 panel Okay, so I adhere every single element of this uh, fold together and uh, I create the belly band from the craft cardstock which I decorated with paper from the collection as well as I close my belly band with this beautiful a element on the front uh, which is um, decorated with paper from the collection and actually um, in the collection you have uh, one uh, page with the elements you can cut out with coordinating dice from Hartford Creation and I just used one of the elements from uh, this page to decorate the front of my belly band. Actually I don't have any idea what to stamp on the front so I just grab one of the million chipboard pieces I have on my craft stash and I adhere it on the front of my belly band uh, with the uh, dry clear glue um, and of course I need more so I decide to uh, create two wild aster flowers um, I stamp them with coffee uh, archival ink and color them in with buttercup as well as target lily and I used the pearl stamens inside and um, actually I have tutorial how to shape and create this kind of flowers if you want to see them I will uh, adhere the video tutorial on the end of this video as well as on the description below so I decorate uh, the belly band with two uh, wild aster flowers and uh, I decide to add uh, two like single leaves uh, stamped with leafy accent uh, just um, to be honest uh, it was necessary but <laughs> I want always to add some more and more and more elements so just these two um, um, leaves uh, stamped with distress inks um, and uh, remember you can find all of my materials I used to create this project on the description below um, this video as well as on Hardware Creation uh, Wednesday blog. So this is my final album. You can see all the colors and dimension uh, by the light of my new photo lamps. I, obsessed with <laughs> totally so we can uh, take belly band and now you can see the album decorated with some elements from the paper collection as well as the mm, die cutted elements uh, die cutted with eyelet and rectangle dies so this is the famous packet you can use to add the money or gift card or voucher inside uh, you can see this is the beautiful photos of Emma Lowe with Richard uh, I think this was the trip to uh, New Zealand but I'm not sure <laughs> to be honest and uh, as you can see the uh, final piece uh, is uh, perfect to uh, put it on your shelf so that's it for today if you are new to my channel I hope you subscribe and click the notification button just to not um, miss any of my new videos and if you like this video please just give it thumbs up and support my creative journey that's it for today thank you for your time and see you soon bye